What do Bhutan, Brunei, Cambodia, Japan, Malaysia and Thailand have in common? They're all monarchies in contemporary Asia. And so are Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands and Tuvalu. These democracies in the region are all still technically reigned over by Britain's Queen Elizabeth. Asia's kings, sultans, raja, emperor and the British monarch primarily have ceremonial roles. Except for the Sultan of Brunei, Hassan al bolkiah who runs an absolute monarchy and serves as prime minister of his small Islamic country. The Sultan of Brunei held the position of world's richest man for many years until he was displaced by Bill Gates in the 90s. Hassan al bolkiah owns about 500 Rolls Royces, the largest collection on the planet. Other Asian monarchs are outrageously rich too. Most have public money to fund royal lifestyles with palaces, golden carriages, crowns and plenty of servants. Japan's royal family, for instance, has a team of staff archaeologists to protect nearly 900 imperial family tombs. The Yamato dynasty traces its roots back to 660 BC, making it the oldest continuous hereditary monarchy in the world. Japan's 126th Emperor Naruhito ascended to the Chrysanthemum throne on May 1, 2019. Following Japan, Thailand is the world's second most populous constitutional monarchy. Many of the nearly 70 million Thais still mourn the 2016 death of King Pumipan the Great, who was the longest reigning monarch in Thai history. His only son Wachira Lungkon has succeeded him as king. Though most Thais refer to their new king as Rama X, his full name means descended by flesh and blood of God Indra, overlord of all angels. In Malaysia, the sultans and the Raja also claim a divine right to rule. The latest king is Sultan Abdullah Sultan Ahmad Shah, the hereditary ruler of the central Malaysian state of Pahang. Malaysia's nine royal families rotate the throne between one of their male Muslim descendants every five years. But a special conference of rulers had to be called when the flamboyant Sultan Mohammed V stunned the country with his sudden abdication after two years. The first king of kings to ever step down from the Malay throne had made royalists shiver when he married for the second time to a Russian beauty queen nearly half his age. Another blue-blooded man whose private life is regularly discussed is Cambodia's King Norodom Sihamoni. The king is a professional ballet instructor who has never married. His late father, the last god king, was famously quoted as saying that his son loves women as his sisters. His Majesty King Sihamoni was sent to Prague at age nine. He studied music and dance and taught ballet in France before ascending to the throne. Conversely, the King of Bhutan prefers to stay close to home. His Facebook page explains how he does most of his travel within Bhutan to remote rural villages. King Jigmi Kesa Namjil Wanchuk, formerly known as the Dragon King, ascended the throne as Bhutan's fifth king in 2006. Kesa's family started ruling Bhutan in 1907 when it was under British influence. Many monarchies in Asia have been modelled on or were initiated by Great Britain. The British Crown, which once ruled large parts of the continent, is still head of state in Australia, New Zealand, Papua New Guinea, the Solomon Islands and Tuvalu. Each has a Governor-General to represent Queen Elizabeth. The region is still a regular destination for British royals, including Prince Harry and his wife Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex. Their trip down under even swayed Australian public opinion towards more support for the British Crown remaining as head of state. So, it seems that royalty may have a place in Asia for some time to come.